Imagine yourself body surfing in the Pacific Ocean off the Malibu Beach. You have a loving, beautiful partner with marvelous green eyes and two children who you adore. You have a stable job at the Ram Think Tank, working on interesting problems critical to national security. You certainly have a bright future. But something's amiss in this seemingly perfect world. You believe that you're working on a morally unjust war, already responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands, both Americans and Vietnamese. And there's no end in sight. You have highly exclusive access to 7,000 pages of a study stacking this high that details a highly secret history of the Vietnam War and uncovers lies told to the American public to extend the war. Lies told by five United States presidents, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. You must make a decision. Do you release this study known as the Pentagon, now known as the Pentagon Papers to the public? Our next speaker, Dr. Daniel Ellsberg, faced this decision with mind-boggling consequences. His decision could topple a U.S. presidency, test the Constitution, and help terminate the Vietnam War. His decision could also lead to his life imprisonment and execution. It could also all be in vain with the public none the wiser. Well before the Pentagon Papers, Dr. Ellsberg graduated with highest honors from Harvard and Cambridge University. He then enlisted in the Marines and bravely served as a rifle platoon commander. You know, the typical career path for an economics graduate. <laughs> he then joined the Defense Department as a special assistant, working on the escalation of the Vietnam War. He drafted guidance from the Secretary of Defense, um, McNamara, to the Joint Chiefs of Staff on operational plans for nuclear war. That's heavy stuff. Later at RAND, he actually hand copied 7,000, the 7,000 page Pentagon Papers. In those days, it was a Herculean task but some, before submitting them to the New York Times and Washington Post. Yes, Dr. Ellsberg has certainly experienced his share of risk, ambiguity, and decision. He's probably more expert on the subject than practically anyone in modern history. Risk, ambiguity, and decision is also that happens to be the title of Dr. Ellsberg's presentation today and his Harvard PhD dissertation. It's hard for me to think of anybody else, somebody's dissertation title, that more accurately foreshadows its author's life. His dissertation paved the path to his work famously known as the Ellsberg Paradox, in quotes. The Ellsberg Paradox is discussed in every economics college textbook and is a landmark in behavioral economics. Dr. Ellsberg's work has applications to understanding the financial crisis of 2008. When the market came to grips with valuing ambiguous toxic assets, it also helps our understanding with the current election, with the electorate choosing between candidates, some may say toxic candidates, with ambiguous views. By speaking at the CQA, Dr. Ellsberg actually joins the ranks of two um, camps who have spoken at CQA. One, the behavioral economics camp, headed by Nobel Prize winner Vernon Smith and Richard Thaler and the other, the whistleblowers, um, led by Harry Markopoulos. Let's give Dr. Ellsberg an unambiguously warm welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was 
very dramatic introduction. Uh, <laughs> rare, uh, rare, thank you. And um, you know, I, I haven't really thought of what I faced in 1969 and 1971 in decision theory terms, to tell the truth. So you started me thinking on that. I'll, 